Okay, so hold on a second. I just want to make sure I heard you right. These are Funko Deadpool, Bobblehead, Mystery Minis, Deadpool in different character outfits. Oh, I, oh, I did hear you right. Yes, today we're going to be having a look at the Deadpool. Uh, this is the Funko Deadpool Bobblehead Mystery Minis. We're going to be looking at an entire case. And uh, there's the front. There's the side. That like Viking Deadpool, Chicken Deadpool, and Working Out Deadpool. They do technically have names. I have not looked up the names on a, online, so I'm just going to be going and winging it. Some other characters on the other side. And once again, bringing us back to where we began. Here's the front of the box. Now we're gonna be having a look at an entire case. The case consists of six on the top, six on the bottom. Six plus six is 12. Yes, I did pass grade two math, grade one math. I guess that would be even easier, grade one math. Uh, here's what the individual boxes look like. There's the full list of characters on the back. I probably should have looked online to see what the names of these, because God forbid if I call this Dr. Uh, Deadpool and somebody says no his name is Surgical Deadpool anyways if you guys are interested in picking this set up for yourself you can find them at your local comic book store but uh, I find easier head over to www.mysterymini.com that's where I'm actually getting full cases from I'm ordering them from that website and they've actually got a good selection of mystery minis always popping up so mysterymini.com that's a place you probably want to go to and uh, get these for yourself um, we're going to go ahead and get these opened up, and I'm going to use Hank to assist in this surgical procedure. Yes, I know I'm still still thinking about that. You know what? Hold on one second. Be right back. I have my phone in front of me. I'm looking at the Cardboard Connection, another good website where you can find all Mystery Mini checklist details. I'm keeping this readily available because... And there has been times in the past when this fellow has opened up Mystery Minis, and unfortunately, they don't list the names. They list the numbers, but they don't list the names. Curse you, Funko. So I've got my little checklist. I've got my little thing readily available here. We're going to open these up now. There are a whole bunch of these that are going to be GameStop exclusives, Hot Topic exclusives, Target exclusives. This is the bare bones. These are the regular releases. Sadly, I don't have... Well, I have an EB Games here in Canada. I don't think we have GameStop. We may have one GameStop or so. We definitely don't have Topic or Hot Topic. I think we may have the equivalent of that Spencer's. And uh, Target, of course, long gone. Long gone. Who have dropped the box. Long gone. Bad idea. They brought it into Canada. Just couldn't compete with Walmart, I guess. Uh, again, here's a quick look, quick gander at the box. Okay, and let's go ahead and open up the first box. Don't worry, I got my checklist readily available. You know, I'd never have this issue with Kid Robot. Kid Robot, not that I'm going to compare Kid Robot to Funko, but Kid Robot does put the names on their boxes. So, you know, just FYI, Funko, just FYI. So, let's go ahead and open up the first bag. Now... At face value, I'm just going to throw the baggie to the side. At face value, I would say that that's Punk Deadpool. I am, however, going to be looking and scrolling through my list just to make sure I've got this right. This is Punk Rocker Deadpool. Saving myself a little bit of the misery of looking at those nasty comments of, dude, you need to look that stuff up. Oh, is the researcher is this guy right here. Now, they are bobbleheads. To the credit of the Deadpools here, so far so good, they do do a good job of bobbling their heads. Unlike the Han Solo series, the Solo Funko Mystery Minis, the bobbleheads weren't as good. But a really nice, vibrant color. He kind of looks like a red baseball, just because he's got the lines running through. He's still got the little point on the back of his mask. Very colorful uh, mohawk, blue mohawk, and he's got a little earring. Uh, eyebrow piercing. A neat looking figure though. Let's put him over there. And let's open up box number two. Some of the uh, GameStop exclusives are a cheerleader, for example. Uh, there's a clown. Um, Hot Topics got, for example, a knight. I'm trying to think of the other ones here. Well, let's look at the list here. So Hot Topic has a samurai, Robin Hood, 
a knight, and I think that's it. Target's got a boxer. Target's also got a hula dancer. Also an old lady. And there's all the exclusives right there. I'm just quickly showing you on my my phone. I'm advancing in the realm of reviewing. We're now bringing in technology. There's the exclusives from GameStop. A wizard, a cheerleader, and a clown. Hot Topic has Robin Hood, a knight, and a samurai. And Target has an exclusive hula dancer, boxer, and old lady. And then you've got the... They really should group these by, you know, main... And then, of course, the exclusives. They shouldn't probably branch them all to put them all together. But anyways, I'm going to open up box number two. If you like this format, by the way, of adding, incorporating some much-needed technology into the mix, let me know down below. Next one we have is Panda Deadpool. Oh, hold on a second. Let me just double-check that that's Panda Deadpool. It's Panda Bear Deadpool. See, and that's why it's good to have these things readily available. Panda Deadpool, very angry looking panda. Eucalyptus leaves, is that what they eat? Or am I confusing that with koalas? I think pandas just eat anything. This is a ferocious looking panda. Still got the bobblehead action happening. The downside to bobbleheads sometimes is that they do twist out of the way, but I guess that somewhat serves as a little bit of posability in the head. Got a little Deadpool logo at the bottom on his pants. What an adorable, vicious-looking panda. It would probably rip your face clean off. Clean off! Your face would be over there. What a horrible thought. Let's open up box number three. To the credit of Funko, at least they keep their series small. So, for example, if you're doing an unboxing like I am right now, uh, there's 12 boxes to go through. Kid Robot tends to have about 24. That translates to a longer video. Unless I just ramble endlessly in this video, it ends up being like an hour long. Don't worry, I wouldn't. I, I admit that I am somebody that talks a lot, but I'd like to think I wouldn't talk for an hour in length. So, grab the next box. Grab the knife, get that cut open. And the next one we have is Waitress Deadpool. And I'm actually looking here, I'm just double checking. Uh, that is, well, I don't see it on here. It's not Hula, it's not obviously Punk Rocker. It doesn't actually say the name of that character. I'm gonna assume that that's Waitress, but I don't see it, unless I'm not, maybe I have to open my eyes a little bit more. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Car hop. Car hop. See? Eh, handy. Can you imagine if I had just said waitress? Somebody down below would just take my ear way off with comments. Anyways, this one here, it's funny, is the car hop is delivering a plate of, of a grenade. Funny, I didn't order that. I thought I ordered the bacon double cheeseburger, but no, apparently I ordered a grenade. Big smile on the face of Deadpool. Dressed... I mean, if not really for the tray and for the very cute little roller wheels, it would almost even look like a maid as well. Of course, the hat probably would have to be missing as well. Does this one stand? Not well, I have to admit. Obviously, this doesn't rotate. This one doesn't stand the greatest. It may actually just have to lay down for the time being, just for the time being. Price point on these, by the way, I know I always say this in these reviews, probably at nausea. Price point on these roughly are about $10. I think it's usually about $9, $9 or so a box. You can also save money by getting yourself an entire case. I usually like to get myself the cases because it gives me the opportunity to kind of go through all of them with you guys. Back in the day, when I was so much younger into the years of reviewing on here, I used to usually get like just boxes of three, but then I thought, you know, you guys like to see the whole thing, the whole thing happening. Why not start doing cases? And I pretty much have been doing cases ever since. We got another punk rocker Deadpool, which now I'm, I'm just looking at the box here. The panda we did pretty good actually, because that's one of 36. The car hop was one of 12. That's logical. 
And where is the Punk Rockers? One of six. So there you go. We're going to get two of those. I'm looking forward to getting the Chicken Deadpool as well. This one we can kind of just add to the mix. Not bad, though. Quite a score getting that Panda Deadpool. Panda Bear Deadpool. I'm not even going to use a knife this time around. Why not? Caution to the wind. Get the next box opened up. And see which one we're going to get here. The next one here, that's clearly a bellhop. And yes, it is a bellhop Deadpool. It looks like he's looking for a tip. Do you tip your bellhops? <laughs> or one better, have you ever had a bellhop delivering your luggage? I think I've had it maybe one time. Somebody delivered my or carried my luggage to my uh, out of my car into the hotel. Happened once. I did tip them, just in case you were wondering. If somebody thought you were being stingy. You're real stingy, cheap. No, I did, I did tip them. Um, you've got the little sticker decals there. Deadpool sticker and a... It's a whale, like Norco whale, or... I don't remember the name of those whales. I didn't research whales, guys, so... Cut me some slack. Um, I like the expression on his face, really signifying, hey, buddy, you're going to spare me some change? This is the hand extended. Dane Cook would talk about this. The hand extended as if I'm waiting to be changed. I'm waiting to get change in my hand. This now completes, by the way, the first tier. You see how quickly just by talking amongst each other, or more so just listening to me talk, we bang through the first tier just like that. We struggle, however, getting through this wrapping on this box. Let this not be the end, the fate that I'm about to experience. Let this not be the end of my reviewing days, spending the rest of my life getting this wrap off. If I was to ever go way down there, no, I don't mean down to the cellar. If I was to ever go into some fiery hell in the afterlife, I think my one thing that I would have to do, because it would have to be something that you really don't want to do the rest of your life. Taking wrap off these would definitely be right near the top of that list. Eating eggplant, that would probably be number two. I hate eggplant with a passion. I despise eggplant. Next one here is Disco Deadpool. I did look actually on there. Disco Deadpool. With a very long looking neck, I might add. This one's got the afro sporting here. And he's just, ah, 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 he's staying alive. He's staying alive. He's staying alive. No, I'm not going to sing. Don't worry. Um, I love the fact that he probably could have afforded bigger bell-bottom pants, but he does have the little necklace there with the Deadpool logo. Big, big fro happening here. Big old fro. Okay, let's grab second tier. Reach, reach, reach. Maybe I may fare better actually just ripping this open. I know that's so against what I'm normally doing on this channel. It kind of goes against my thing of using a knife. I'm going to do this without a knife. The frustration of just cutting it with it had me up to here. Right up here. And then sure enough, <laughs> sure enough I grabbed the knife to cut open the package. Well, we got ourselves another bellhop. One of the other problems with Funko releases is they tend to put a lot. Like, if you look at this set, this set consists of 12, right? Four, 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 that's 12. And there are technically 12 in the case. Now, I get it. There are some, of course, you would want to make harder to come by, like this one right here. But I think all the rest of them could easily have been one of 12. There's no reasoning why they had to be 1 of 72, 1 of 24. At the very least, they should not have put 1 of 6 in there, because you know guaranteed we're going to be getting two of this guy. It hasn't happened yet, but guaranteed somewhere in there we're going to be getting two of this guy because he's 1 of 6. It's blasphemy. That's what it is. It's blasphemy. Did he just say blasphemy? It is. It's blasphemy. Let's open up the next box. I'm going to go back to the knife. I feel bad that Hank's just sitting there waiting. So, wait so patiently, too. He sort of is waiting at like that bellhop, waiting for a spare change. Just, just throw me a, don't throw him a dime. I, I would say 
either tip, tip well, or don't tip. Giving a insignificant, just the, literally your spare change, I think is even more insulting than don't even tipping at all. Now, the next one here is the doctor, and literally that is his name. Doctor, could have been, sur uh, it could have been uh, someone of surgery, I guess. What would be somebody that, could, that does surgery? Now I'm drawing an absolute blank. That's what happens when you get old. Um, but we have Dr. Dr. Deadpool with a heart surgeon. Boy, surgeon. I feel like I just want to put my head down in my hands and just kind of leave the room for a few minutes. I'm not going to do that because then this review would just sit idly by. Surgeon. That's somebody who performs surgery as a surgeon. Old. Right here. Just turned 40. So I'm getting a little up there. Uh, a surgeon, no, is not the case, but this here is a doctor. Doctor Deadpool. He's got a little heart in his hand. You know the saying, get a second opinion? I don't think you'd be getting a second opinion, granted that the first doctor has your heart in his hand. He's also got a saw. I don't know what he's going to be doing with that. An awfully crude utensil, an instrument, if you will, to be performing surgery with. I don't know, just a little off the top, probably, like I said, I'd be going elsewhere. And then he's got his little reflector on the top. I don't know what this is called. I'm not in surgery. I'm not a in the medical profession. If I was, maybe I wouldn't be doing this channel. I don't know. I probably still would. I would be the surgeon that would be driving up. My license plate would probably be like, just for toys. That's basically where all my income would go to, just toys and collectibles. Let's open up the next box. If there's any surgeons here, first of all, I do apologize for not knowing the name of your profession. Second of all, let me know if you're a surgeon down below. Watch every single comment down below be like, hey, I'm a surgeon. Hey, I'm a surgeon too. And I ch check out their channel. It's like a four-year-old opening up a little kinder surprise. I'm a surgeon. I don't think you are. Maybe your parents are. I don't know. It's possible. I just threw that on the floor. No, no cares given. Oh, here we go. This is the one I was really looking forward to seeing. Here we have Chicken Deadpool. His head is extremely twisted. Let's see if I can twist it back in this sh shape here. Here we go. There we go. Here we have Chicken Deadpool. And that is his name. He has a little bucket of chicken with a drumstick surprisingly larger than the bucket itself. Apparently that is made to order. You have to order that separately and it doesn't come in the pail. This one I love quite a bit. Makes me actually crave some fried chicken right now. Very bright yellow. I would say his head is not quite the same coloring as the rest of his body. His body seems more like a golden yellow. Here is a very light yellow, but I'm not going to be overly critical about that. Still get a bobblehead. And hey, guys, you got yourself Deadpool dressed as a chicken, eating fried chicken. You're welcome. It's the least I could do. As somebody that didn't make it myself, but simply just presenting it. I'm basically the guy that signs my name at the bottom of a really nice card. I don't know who said this. It could have been a relative. It could have been a friend. Who said it is a, is really irrelevant. The content the content of what they said is what I wanted to talk about here. I knew of somebody that used to say, I'm really good at picking out cards. Like there's a birthday or there's an anniversary. That person claimed, claimed they're good at picking out cards. I don't really know what that means. I was really good at opening up a card. Seeing the insert was so beautiful, so touching that I signed my name at the bottom of it and I gave that person the card. And the person who got the card opened it up and said, oh my God, that is just the most wonderful thing I have ever read with my eyes. And that person probably just said, hey, I'm really good at picking out cards. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm really good at picking out cards. That's like when it's raining, somebody is staying indoors and says, I'm really good at not getting wet. Of course you're, of course not. Another Doc, Doc Deadpool, Dr. Deadpool, if you will. I would be interested very much to see what kind of business card comes with 
Dr. Deadpool. Nonetheless, he did come in twos. We got two of him now. And speaking of two, how's that for a segue? We've got two boxes left. I'm gonna open up the first of the two boxes. Maybe I'm starting in the wrong place. Let's see if I, you know what, what if I cut like right there? Maybe that will be a more accessible means. Oh, see, look at that. I'm trying to cut around the area in which the, the wrap has been heated and molded to the box. That's the worst place I could be cutting. Let's get this box opened up. I just dropped it. Okay. And let's get the bag opened up here too. It becomes more increasingly uh, aware. I become more increasingly aware that I have to change the blade. Hank, I think, yeah, maybe my next review, buddy, you're gonna have a new blade. So he's like writing it down. Next review, this guy's gonna have a new blade. He's gonna call me on it. Don't call me on it, but I have to remind myself. Remind myself. Mental notes. Okay, change blade on knife. Got another chicken Deadpool. Macaw. Put him right there. And finally, the last box. Now, if we do just quick a tally, quick tally, some of the ones, okay, well, we did get a fair assortment. Got all of these. Got the bellhop. Didn't get this one. Did get Disco Deadpool. Didn't get the king, which is one of 24. The only one I really would like to get, and I'm hoping is going to be inside, it's a long shot. It's a long shot. It's right there. It's the one of 24. That's the workout Deadpool. Let me just double check here. Yes, it is workout Deadpool, according to the list here at the cardboard connection. Good place, by the way, if you ever want to see a checklist of things that you can get in mystery minis. It's my go-to, when I get a chance to go to, my go-to. And lastly, this last bag right here, ding-a-ling-a-ling, -a -ling, makes no sound whatsoever. It's certainly not the sound of a bell. Let's get this one opened up with a very dull pink. Not literally. So, well, literally, I suppose not. They mean your personality, Hank. Oh, nice. This was a really a long shot. Speaking of long shot, this was one of 72. Here we have Mermaid Deadpool with harpoon gun in hand, seashells, a brazier, and of course, sporting a tail. I like this one. And really wasn't, I was not expecting to get this one at all. Very rare find, I have to admit. Perhaps as even as rare of a find as trying to find a real mermaid. You ever see that video where they're underwater in like a submarine and this thing swims by and it looks like a mermaid? There's some crazy stuff happening deep down in the waters. It's a shame I just don't like water. Anyways, let's have a look at all the things that we got inside. Uh, of course, I'm going to do my top three. Uh, of the top three of my favorite figures in this line, I would definitely have to go with Chicken Deadpool. I don't know if I would say he's my first, possibly my second. I also really like the punk rocker Deadpool. First or second, not really sure. And I'm going to go with the Doctor Deadpool. Now looking at these three, I may go chicken Deadpool number one. What? Punk rocker, I would go number three. And yes, the silver. Here goes to the doc, Dr. Deadpool. Apparently did not know a profession that does surgery. It's a surgeon. Should have had a V8. Uh, what we did have though, is have a look. How's that? That's moderately a good segue. We were having a look today at the Funko Mystery Minis Deadpool bobbleheads. We looked at an entire case. Yes, we did. You looked at it. You looked at it. You looked at it. You, sir, were kind of just in and out of the room. You went off to grab something. You went to get some water, came back to the room, then you left again. But most of everybody, we all had a look at the Deadpool Mystery Mini bobbleheads. Which, by the way, again, if you are interested in picking this up for yourself, you can head over to www. I don't know why I have to do this with my finger. www.mysterymini minus the S. It's not minis. It's mini.com. And you can get yourself an entire case of these for yourself. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. That will guarantee you that when new videos are coming to this channel, <gasps> you'll never miss a beat. And speaking of beats, or 
Speaking of bells, ah, segue sucked. Speaking of bells, hit that bell notification down below, ring-a-ling-a-ling, that will guarantee you that when new videos are coming to this channel, at the very least, you should get about three quarters of them, because that bell notification doesn't apparently work. What does work though, however, is heading over to the main page, checking out the video section, you'll see everything that I've posted up to this point. You won't see future videos. If you do see future videos from today onward, I want to check out your computer. There's no way you can you could possibly do that. You have the means of time travel, apparently not in the physical sense, but apparently your PC can travel through time. I may want to come over to your house and just have a look at some stock options. Anyways, guys, as always, thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.